of a split in the country, warm and sunny for some, wet and windy for others. The emphasis now changing towards wet and windy conditions. I just want you to bear that lump of cloud in mind for me for Wednesday. We'll come back to it. This diagonal will also help explain what's going on with the weather, all the way from the southwest right up into the northeastern corner of Scotland. And in amongst all of that cloud, there's some really heavy downpours of rain. I highlight Western Wales, but that is not the end of the story by any means at all. I'll just take you on a journey and show you where I mean for some of this heavy rain. Whenever you see those colours changing into the greens and the yellows, think some heavy downpours of rain. Right across the western side of Wales, half an inch, for example, in an hour, down at Milford Haven, right up across the Cumbrian Fells. If you're crossing Shap at the M6 this afternoon, atrocious conditions there. So too at Beatock Summit in the southern uplands. We could well be seeing there a couple of inches of rain at low levels. Four inches of rain is possible in the next 24 hours across the southern uplands here, and it's been very wet on the eastern side of Scotland too. So some pretty heavy rain there. It's not all doom and gloom by any means. You've popped out of it on the western side of Scotland, so too parts of Northern Ireland. And further south and east, it's dry and fine, every bit as warm as it was yesterday. On the northern side of this front, it's cooler and much fresher. Now, this northern area sits there all through the night. In the south, it drives its way through. You think you've seen the last of it. Well, you haven't. There, mild in the south and still pretty cool across the north. You remember that lump of cloud I was talking about? Here it comes. Thicker cloud, more rain. And after a dry start in the day, as I run through to the afternoon, you'll see that it drives its way back across the heart of England, perhaps. Some pretty heavy downpours there. But further west, it should be drier. So I'm hopeful with these fixtures over on the western side of England and into Cardiff, it could well be cloudy there, yes, but dry. And then, thankfully, the same rain that I've been talking about for the next couple of days or so, by Thursday, we'll be getting away from the north of Scotland, away from the east coast. Thursday and Friday, drier, finer and cooler.